Hello and welcome to my channel. Ivan is here and in today's video I am going to show you the differences between pointers and references in Rust. Let's get started. Syntax. References and pointers used to refer to a value stored in the memory without taking ownership. However, there are a few differences between them. First of all, let's create a value a equals 10. Then let's create a reference. It's quite simple. And then let's create a pointer. PTR is short name for pointer. To create a pointer, we have to, the first of all, create a reference to A. And here, without specifying a type, the Rust automatically interprets this like a reference on signet int 16. And here, I specified that I want to have a constant pointer on signet int 16. There is a different way to create a pointer. We created a pointer use a s constant pointer to unsign it in 16. We just ask Rust compiler to interpret this like constant pointer. Let's uh, the reference reference. Actually, it happens automatically, but it's purely safe operation. But the referencing a pointer is unsafe operation. If you specify the referencing a pointer like this, you will get the error. This operation is unsafe and requires an unsafe function or block. So, we have to use this unsafe block. Let's run this function. A reference equals 10 and A pointer equals 10. The second difference is a lifetimes. Pointers don't have a lifetimes, but references do. When you create a reference, you must specify how long it is valid for, or it happens implicitly by REST compiler. Let's implement the classic example of the lifetimes problem. One more time. Now we have a classical example. REST compiler helps us to fix this problem. What we're gonna do, we have to add this lifetime specifier to help to understand the Rust compiler, what I'm going to return here. But if I change this to pointers, one more time, now the problem is gone. Everything works fine. No lifetime checks. That's why this is quite dangerous. And reference cannot be a null, but the pointer can be null. Let me show you a simple example how we can break Rust. First of all, you have to create a null reference. That we have to use a null function from the Rust. Now our pointer is null. Let's specify the type. Now this application will crash here. You see, the process didn't exit successfully because we tried to dereference a null pointer. Rust has a protection against the null pointers and pointers in general. That's why you have to mark your block of code with this pointers manipulation like unsafe. I don't recommend you to use pointers. Use the normal references and use the standard library structures because they are implemented properly, they tested well and they have unsafe blocks inside of it. Let's move back our normal value here. So now we have a valid pointer. Mutability. Pointers can be either mutable or immutable depending on whether they are created with a const or mut keyword. On the other hand, references are always immutable. Yes, you can create immutable references, but it can exist one and only one. Let me show you how to create a mutable pointer. First of all, Let's create a mood pointer mood sign at 16 and equals first of all we have to create pointer so as and then we create a mutable pointer what does it mean it means we can change the value inside of our mutable pointer so for that we have to create an unsafe block then we have to, to reference mutable pointer and then set a new value for example, 45. Then when I run it, this pointer will change the value of this, this, and this. So it just changed the value everywhere. Let's check it out. So our value 45 everywhere because the pointer is the same, use the same structure, and we change it here. But what the most dangerous thing about it? We can create multiple, multiple pointers like here and can change it 
a couple of times so you see I'm changing that the second time to 78 then when I run it again everything will will be changed to this value one more time now we have a 78 but you cannot create mutable references so easily so let me show you if you decided to create a mutable reference and you have to do this mode a you can do that when you run it you'll see that borrowing happens here so to fix it you have to make a mutable so let's name it like mood and now it works but the pointers helps us to change the value inside of this variable without the mood keyword here and it works i will show you everything works now so now you can do that but if you decided to create one more mutable reference you will definitely get the error because it's denied by the rust compiler but if you run it you'll see that everything looks fine but the problem still here let's change the one of them so let's change the first of all and it equals for example 23 then we have to change the value here we have to dereference that now we change the value and now you see the problem if i run it you see the second mutable borrow occurs here so it's denied but it's possible with two pointers. This is a difference between mutability of the references and pointers. Grouping. Let's remove all of these functions here and clean it up the code. Now I'm going to show you the grouping. For that, let's create a structure. Structure name is couple, value one, first value is on sign at 16 and the second value is on sign at 16 too then let's create this first value is 300 the second value is 16 now we have a couple struct here with the values 300 and 16 let's create a pointer to the couple now we have a pointer couple now let's print values we still need unsafe you dare reference this and you dare reference that you just have a normal couple here so we can print value one here and you will see the result the first value equals 300 let's print the second value now we have two values but what if i do this operation couple ptr equals couple as const couple and again, as const unsigned at 16. So now I have a pointer to unsigned at 16. This is pointer to the value one. So now we have a couple pointer to value one. We use the reference to a couple, convert it to the pointer to a couple struct, and then convert it to the const pointer to unsigned at 16. What happens if I print it? I will see the first value so why this happens because this pointer points to the first value of this struct let me show you how it works the first of all here we have a memory and here we have unsigned at 16 and 16 it contains two bytes the first byte and the second byte so when you created this variable in your rust it's actually a constant so when you create it, the Rust understand you have this unsigned at 16 somewhere in your memory. That's fine, and the Rust interprets this for you. You don't need to care about this memory. The pointer is a completely different piece. It tells a little bit more, and you can do more operations with that. First of all, a pointer tells where the memory begins and how much space does it take. In this case, we have a constant pointer to unsigned at 16. So we know where it is, then unsigned at 16, 2 bytes. So your computer understands that it has to read 2 bytes ahead. So read the first byte and the second byte. And the type of your pointer helps understand it. That's it. And the struct has two values inside of it grouped along with each other. So the first value is 300, the value 1, and the value 2 is 16. So in the memory, if you will imagine the address, you will see that the first address points here, and the second address points to the second byte, because our memory based on the bytes. And then we have a next 
byte its points on the next byte. So if we have a pointer that points here, we can add two to this to move ahead to this address, to this, to points here. So it means we can read the second value of the struct just moving two addresses ahead, moving two bytes ahead. And how we can do that? It's quite simple. Let's move back to our code. Let's create the second pointer. Then I'm going to use the pointer to the value 1 and then I'm going to convert it to unsigned int but u size then plus 2 and please represent this address like constant unsigned 16 that's it first of all I convert this pointer to number then move 2 bytes ahead just add 2 to this address and convert back I mistype now I'm going to print both of these variables and the v1 equals 300 and v2 must equals f16. So run. And now you see the 316. But what happens if I move just one byte ahead here and then we'll say that this is unsigned int and the computer will try to read two bytes ahead. So it will read this byte and this byte. Let's type it here. This is a binary representation of both of these values. The first value is 300, you can see the first byte and the second byte, and the 16, the first byte and the second byte. If we'll move just one byte ahead, we'll create a new value where the first byte is equal to this value. So, if we'll move ahead just one byte, we'll create a new value where we will take this like a first byte and this like a second byte. Let me copy this here, yeah, paste, and it must equals to 4097. Just move ahead one byte and run it. And the theory is correct. And the Rust stores the struct like a piece of bytes coupled together. That's it for this video. Now you know how pointers and references work in Rust. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this and I will see you in the next one.